Um, vaping is something that I think started, you know, probably seven to ten years ago. Um, when I first started into training, we had a lot of people that were smoking cigarettes and they wanted to try something else. And at the time, the way that vaping and, and e-cigarettes were marketed was it's a healthy alternative to smoking. And so you had a ton of people start using these e-cigarettes and vaping devices. And at the time, quite honestly, we didn't know whether or not it was better or worse for you. Um, certainly it didn't have a lot of the you know known carcinogen additives that cigarettes had, but we weren't really sure you know whether or not it was good or not and it has a lot of additives in it that are very dangerous and causing a lot of issues and when we see these vaping related um, illnesses a lot of it is driven from the illegal THC vaping that that um, you know these these uh, teenage and young adults are, are, are doing how it's causing this illness is within those additives it's causing inflammation within the, lung, the little lung sacs, the alveoli within our lungs. And it's causing inflammation, which is then causing folks to go into respiratory distress. Um, at this point in time, we have 385 confirmed illnesses that are directly related to vaping. We actually have six deaths that have been directly related to vaping. So it's causing folks to go into respiratory distress. They're getting hospitalized, they're getting put on ventilators, and unfortunately they're passing away from these type of things. So it's very scary, it's very dangerous. In the past year, uh, 3.6 million high school related um, kids have tried vaping, which from the year previous is up 78%. So this is a big problem, and this is something that we're facing, and I think, quite frankly, a lot of it is just um, misinformation from these vaping companies. They are marketing it towards our younger folks. All of it's, you know, fancy flavors and this, that, the other. Um, and I think that kids really genuinely at this point still believe that it's a healthy alternative to smoking cigarettes we've done a great job getting out the harms of smoking cigarettes what we haven't done to this point is get out uh, the harms associated with vaping and, I, and so i think you're going to continue to see that in the news i think unfortunately you're going to continue to see a spike in respiratory related uh, illnesses and hospitalizations and unfortunately deaths associated with vaping